Hi, I'm Dan from Camsys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Camsys Mini Wing. So the Mini Wing gives you physical control over the 10 playbacks in Magic Q. We've got 10 faders here, 10 flash keys, and 10 sets of S and play keys as well. You also get a single physical DMX output on the wing, and the wing unlocks Magic Q from demo mode. So you get some more advanced features such as full screen execute window and the use of timecode, for example. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install the driver on a Windows PC. So I'm going to connect it up with the supplied USB cable, like so. And then I need to go to Device Manager on my PC. So I'm going to go and search for Device Manager and open that up. And then it should appear under Universal Serial Bus Controllers here. You'll notice at this stage, the S keys start counting up one by one, lighting up blue and then they'll get to a point where they just start flashing because it's not currently connected to the Magic Q software. So to install the driver, we right click on Magic Q PC wing here, update driver, browse my computer for drivers. Let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. And we're gonna go have disk and browse. And we need to browse to this PC, C drive, Program Files x86, Camsys Limited, Magic Q PC, Magic Q Wing Drivers, FTDI, and this file here called Camsys. That's the driver file we want to install. So going to click Open, and then OK, and Next, and it tells me it's successfully updated that driver. So I can now close this, and close Device Manager, and open up the Magic Q PC software like so. Once the software is open, the wing should connect, the S key should stop flashing and a single S key should light up. You should also find that there's no demo mode here next to Magic QPC. That's another signal that the wing is connected and working correctly. So now I'm going to show you how to set it up within the Magic Q software. So I need to go to Setup, View Settings, Ports, and ensure that Magic Q Wings and Interfaces, if you're using a Windows PC, is set to Yes Auto DMX. If you're using a Mac, however, this needs to be set to FTDI plus VCP Auto DMX. And there's no additional driver installation needed on Mac, you just need to set this one setting. So I'm going to leave this on Yes Auto DMX. And then if I go to View DMX IO, this is where I configure the universe output on the Mini Wing. So I'm going to connect up the DMX cable here to my fixture, like so. And then the desired universe needs to be set to MQ wing. And it needs to be enabled under the status. And with that set, I can lift the fader here for this pre-recorded queue that I've set up earlier. I've already patched my fixture, ready to go. You can see that's connected and working just like so.